All right guys, so today I'm gonna to be trying to do 25 blunt stalls on the mini ramp. I'm not too good at blunt stalls, so kind of like setting this challenge to kind of force me to push my limits and learn new blunt stall tricks. I feel like the first 10 or so I'll be able to get pretty easily, but as we get later in the list, it's probably gonna get pretty difficult, so it's like to try it out. It's crazy, I've done a kickflip blunt kickflip out. I'm still frightened to do a blunt fakie for some reason. It took way longer than it should have. All right, first five down. Honestly, that was a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. All right, feeling warmed up now. Got through those five pretty painlessly. Gonna keep going. All right guys, just about halfway through and we're entering the realm of tricks that I haven't done before, so it should start to get interesting. All right, running low on variations right now. I think I'm gonna try to like blunt to front side pivot variations. Never tried those, so see how it feels. I thought these were gonna be easy, but they feel so awkward and unnatural. So there's two things going on right now. One is I'm not good at front blunts on mini ramps, so I'm having trouble just popping in that direction. And then second is when I do pop and I get into the 5-0, my shoulders just want to naturally keep turning backside. So I gotta figure out how to work through that. Okay, I think I figured out what I gotta do. I think I have to come up the same way as I do for the backside blunt, almost at an angle. So when I get into it, it kind of stops me and the resistance helps me turn the rest of the 180. So, gonna try that now. Wow, did not believe how hard that was. I think I forgot what number I was at trying for so long. I think we're at 18, gonna stick with that. Hopefully that's where we are. Wow, all right, <laughs> made it through 20. Starting to get into the awkward realm with these fakey front side blunts. I'm not really good at them at all, so it's kind of pushing me to learn them. Maybe I could squeeze out like one or two more, but these last couple of tricks, it's gonna get pretty hard. All right, that one was actually easier to get from fakey. Just kind of helped with my shoulders swinging. Now I'm gonna try a trick I've done before, but only once. Back blunt, or half cab blunt, big spin out. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, that was pretty tough. I might save that for the last trick. I think I'm just gonna try to get some uh, kickflip blunt variations, hopefully. Got it. Three or four more tricks. I think I'm losing count. This 
tricks are not coming easy. <laughs> Just tried that kickflip blunt to rock for like 15 minutes. Whew. All right, three more. My foot completely came off the board, but don't really care. I'm gonna kick around the trick I'd never really see done. It's gonna be a kick flip to blunt back when he out. Let's see if I can get it. Alright, that one kind of wore me out. I'm gonna go for the last trick now. It's gonna be a half carat blunt, big spin out. The rotation's there, I just gotta stick it. Alright, full commit right here. Pretty bad one. Well, I was rolling away, and then I guess it just over rotated like an inch or two, and then yeah. All right, right here. That was a pretty exhausting challenge. Not gonna lie. I thought it'd be a lot easier. You know, you just picture you do these little blunt variations, no problem. But a lot of those tries add up, and some of them are just. You know, harder than you expect. But I'm happy I kept it to only blunt stalls and not like switch blunts. Kind of really helped me learn a lot more blunt fakies and blunt variations and just feel more consistent with that trick in general. So that's it for today's video. If you guys have any ideas for other skating challenges, just leave them in the comments below. All right, thanks for watching.